would you really stop being friends with somebody based on their political choice? And the answer to that is yes. There's a reason why racists typically only side with Trump. There's a reason why homophobic people side with Trump. There's a reason that all of these hateful people side with Trump. So that in itself makes me realize, hmm, if they're backing somebody who has a huge following of racists, transphobes, homophobes, makes me wonder how they truly feel about me behind closed doors. I'm 30 years old now. I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. everyone and welcome back to another video. First I wanted to say I hope everyone had an amazing Halloween if you do celebrate. Me and my family we had a great time. Had a little low-key movie night, candy, popcorn, pizza, all the things. We had a blast. Today let's just hop right into it. I kind of want to extend the video from last week as we approach the election. When you guys see this the election will be in two days. It is definitely nerve-wracking, a lot of emotions behind it, and I've been kind of putting my opinion out there on how I feel about it all, and I wanted to kind of further talk about it because I happened to get this question, and it says, would you really stop being friends with somebody based on their political choice? And the answer to that is yes. I most definitely would, and I wanna dive into that, so let's talk about it. Typically, every election, is different obviously and i would say out of all the elections that i have been an adult and could actually participate this one is by far the most concerning obviously this is not trump's first rodeo with being president and the first time around i was a bit younger a little more naive didn't really understand it all and to be quite frank i didn't really care um, I probably should have, but I'm going to be transparent. I really didn't care last time. But this time, just, it's only getting worse. And now I have a lot to say about it. So, with this election, it really doesn't even come down to Democrat versus Republican for me. I'm not a Democrat nor a Republican. I can't stand the way that the United States goes about this. Uh, I think it is a way to tear us apart and it actively works obviously. <laughs> and I know people are probably going to be like, well, you're willing to tear a friendship apart, so you're pretty much a hypocrite. I'm not. This particular election does not even come down to Democrat and Republicans. It comes down to morals and values, right and wrong. And we all know Trump. We all know. And to me, his morals and values and the people behind him don't align with myself as a black transgender person and as a female according to society legally Trump's ideology is harmful to who I am as a person there is no other way around it it's very very black and white Trump is very well known for trying to take away rights of people in the LGBTQ. He pretty much wants to live a prehistoric lifestyle. And unfortunately, we don't live in a prehistoric world. Trump's statements really empowers those that are against the LGBTQ, which honestly just increases the stigma and hostility around trans people. His ideas only fuel the fire with anti-trans rights. I'm trans. So when someone is a friend of mine and they are actively voting for someone who could disrupt the rights that I have as a trans person and a black person, I can only come to the realization that they do not have me in their best interest. And to me, that is not a friend. Also, just dialing in on Trump as a person, the harmful things he has said about multiple, multiple groups of people, whether it be disabled people, LGBTQ people, women, children with learning disabilities, people in Puerto Rico, like just the way he talks about people is just not 
ideal and his thought process around all of these people, again, I just don't understand how someone could idolize him. Not to mention he is legally liable of in a civil court. And it's crazy because so many people are trying to downplay it because it was in a civil court and not a criminal court. At the end of the day, he was still found legally liable, meaning he still did it. And for people to just brush that under the rug, you are not a friend if you can brush something like that under the rug. We're not voting for someone to be on our flag football team. We're voting for someone to be the president of the United States. So for someone to look past a r and still elect him to be president, you are not a friend to me because I don't align that way. I don't, I think if you are legally liable of doing something as crazy as r being a president is the last thing you need to be doing. He also has 34 felonies. 34. I hate to do this, I hate to do this, but I'ma do it. Can you imagine if Kamala or Obama had 34 fe I ain't gonna say 34. If Kamala Harris had a single felony, do y'all really think she would even be elected for president? Trump has 34. And people are still willing to look past all of that. But let that have been Kamala or Obama. We honestly, it, they wouldn't even have the chance to be elected. We wouldn't even know their name. Because guess what? They would have been in prison the day it happened. But that's neither here nor there. I just had to put a comparison. Because if you know, you know. If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. So lastly, what I want to say is I grew up in a very small town. And if you have been following me for a while, I kind of talk about this a lot because um, it's a sensitive topic. And I think that's kind of what brings me to social media um, and why I speak so proudly of my differences because I don't want to be average. I was one of the only black students in the entire school district. I, I think I could, there was maybe 30 of us total between the elementary, middle school, and high school. I was a part of the LGBTQ, which made up a very tiny portion of the school district. So I was definitely, I stuck out like a sore thumb. And so being in a small town, I didn't know any better. I didn't stand up for myself because I would have been alone. Like imagine being someone who looks completely different than everyone else and being brave enough as a child to just speak out and speak against what everyone else thinks. Kind of crazy. If you can do that, I mean, more power to you, but it wasn't me. I, I was not a very outward spoken type of person. I didn't have it in me to speak up for myself. And there's a lot of bullshit I dealt with, whether it was because of my race or whether it was because I was a part of the LGBTQ. So with that being said, everybody in my hometown, all right, not everybody, most people in my hometown are very, very small-minded because they don't know much, they don't see much, they don't see much outside of that tiny town. So different is weird to them. So anytime one of my so-called friends would, would talk bad about someone, rather than stick up for my own community, I would either chime in or just stay quiet because what was I supposed to do? I'm 30 years old now. I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. I'm grown. I didn't have to deal with it then. I wish I had the backbone, but I didn't. But since I didn't then, I'm gonna make sure I do now. So as a child, if Trump was running for president, most of my little friends would have voted for him. They probably are right now, which brings me to this topic. I would have backed them up. I wouldn't have said anything. I would have been like, oh, I don't care. Like, you're not affecting me personally or I know you don't think of me that way. They might not think of me that way, but they're thinking about the other community that way. And the community is a part of me. All trans people are a part of me. So when someone can say, oh, I respect you, it's just the others, I don't, I don't fuck with that. Nope. I'm 30 years old. I do not have to deal with this stuff. So yes, I will end a friendship of years for politics, especially this year. Because this is so much deeper than just lowering some gas prices 
getting some cheaper groceries. This is about women's rights. This is about LGBTQ rights. This is about black rights. And guess what? Homie is a part of all of that. So when you got Trump idolizing his views all over the internet and getting his little clan behind him, backing him up, there's a reason why racists typically only side with Trump when it's Trump versus someone else. There's a reason why homophobic people side with Trump when it's against someone else. There's a reason that all of these hateful people side with Trump. So that in itself makes me realize, hmm, if they're backing somebody who has a huge following of racists, transphobes, homophobes, makes me wonder how they truly feel about me behind closed doors. I have so many people from home that follow me on social media and the only reason they do is because they're nosy. They wanna keep up. They wanna see how far I'll make it. That's the only reason they follow me. They don't follow me because they genuinely give a about me. They don't follow me because they actually are interested in hearing about trans stuff. They don't follow me because they are an ally. That's the last thing they are. There's a few sprinkled in there. I'm not gonna discredit some because I, I do have some friends who are, and they do hype me up. But for the most part, the people from back home do not f with trans people. Do not f with black people. Let's really talk about it. And their little vote for Trump only proves my point even more. So, I'll end it with 110% I will end a friendship of years when it comes to politics in 2024. It's about morals and values, you guys. Right and wrong. To vote for somebody that has 34 felonies and has been held liable of rape in the civil court, if you can get down with that, then I cannot you. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope, pray, wish all the best this election, this week. No matter what the outcome is, we will all stick together and we'll see what happens. Just hang in there and no matter what, we, we all got each other's back. That's why we have these platforms because we're all family. Comments are always open. My DMs are always open if you need to talk to someone. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.